Hey Beansy Moms, what is up? It's your girl Cynthia here for another video. So I want to apologize for not uploading a video last week. Things were kind of hectic. My family from Mexico actually moved into my house and they're staying here putting the kids to school. So the house of three is now a house of eight. So it's a little hectic, a little wild, but you know what? I'm having a lot of fun, but I just wasn't able to upload a video last week. So today I am insanely excited, you guys, because this is going to be a little bit of a different video. I have a coworker. Her name is Jenny, and she has been working at Sephora with me for around the same time. I think she started like two weeks before me. So we've been really close, and she's really hilarious. She's really outgoing. And just recently, she actually let me know that she is coming out with her own brand which is again like I said very very exciting especially because that's something I hope to do in the future I don't know when right now I'm broke so I can't really invest in that but I do hope to do that that's kind of what I'm going to school for so when I heard she was doing her own like brand I was so excited and wanted to be so a part of it I wanted to help her out as much as I could and invest in her stuff and buy her products like I was so excited I don't know when she actually came out with the news like two or three weeks ago she said she was releasing lashes as her first kind of launch and girl I love lashes I know I'm a little crazy right now I'm not wearing lashes because I am going to try on her lashes so she posted it on her Instagram which by the way I'm gonna put all her social media links everything you need to know her website everything down in this description box down below so please go check that out by the way Jenny is releasing her lashes on March 23rd which is today Saturday I actually got early access to her lashes so I could film this video and upload it. So anyways, Bellissimas, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to become a Bellissima today because I would love for that to happen. And don't forget to like this video up. There will be something I'm going to be touching at the end of the video a little bit more about a giveaway that she's doing. So I will be letting you guys know about that. Anyways, Bellissimas, let's get started with this video. All right, so she did release five different pairs of lashes for her first launch. So Jenny is Latina, just like me. We're both Hispanic. Her brand is called Suavecita Cosmetics. So this is just really, really cool that she's really put time and effort into this. Each lash runs for $15 which is pretty reasonable. I think for lashes at Sephora, like the ones with House of Lashes are $14. The most expensive Sephora lashes are $18. Okay, so I'm actually gonna go from drama most dramatic to least dramatic. Also, another thing you guys should know, she has three lashes that are 3D mink and two lashes that are synthetic. All right, so these are the first ones. I know it's hard to see. This is her packaging. It, so it's in a little bit of plastic so her little links are in the back so her at and her Instagram she also has a YouTube channel so she hasn't really posted much but she is gonna be keep like posting and stuff like that so go check out that as well so her little logo is right here so these are the first pair they are super dramatic one of the most dramatic pairs of lashes that I think I have ever had they are as I can see very long which is actually in my opinion a good thing because then you can cut it down I think that having them longer like you know wider like that is actually better than having them shorter because you can cut them off and kind of adjust them to your eye shape I feel like when they're shorter people with longer eye shapes can't really adjust it because they're already short I left my scissors at Marissa's house so I'm using these type of scissors and the band is actually I'm gonna cut off like that much I don't want to mess these up so I'm really scared okay the band is actually not too thick it's like a pretty I mean it's thicker than like most obviously like I've seen really thin ones but it's not too bad like it's comfortably thick if you know what I mean so you always 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 want to bend your lashes it's really important especially with new lashes so these actually peel off really easily from this thing I've had lashes that literally no matter what I do like don't come out of that and then they rip and it's like really annoying so props to Jenny for that I'm using my velour eyelash glue it's what I've got and it's fine 
it works and by the way I got off of work like not that long ago so this makeup I've had on since early I obviously fixed it a little bit so if it looks a little gross and patchy and not good it's because I've had it on for a while I was, I was gonna like redo my makeup and everything but I got lazy so I don't know why I always hold my breath before applying lashes I feel like it's such like a process you know all right so there is both the lashes on so you guys can see how they look they're like extravagant but they're not obviously I need to cut this one a little bit more my hair kind of weighs it down a little bit these ones are in 3d mink I like how it's kind of has that little cat eye effect these are queen in Suavecito Cosmetics lashes <laughs> queen these are popping let's try on the next one all right so i took off the lashes so i look a little crazy there's glue it's it's okay it's a process it's what happens so the next ones i'm going to try on are in the lash miss suavecita so it's these guys so these ones are a little bit more dense and volume definitely these ones are 3d mink so in order to take them out, I always bend this little packaging thing. I just feel like it makes it so much easier. Ooh, these ones are so fluffy. <gasps> these are so cute. I think I'm going to cut it a tiny bit, but these aren't too bad. All right, so I haven't even tried the other ones yet. I still have three more to go, and these are so freaking cute right now these are my absolute favorite these are again miss suavecita they are 3d mink i don't know if i mentioned it before but the queens were synthetic which were cute of course but these ones i'm like living for these and by the way i have a really bad lazy eye in general so my eyes a little bit smaller that's why and lashes don't help it in general but these are so cute like I'm living for them they're so fluffy they like like it says they're 3d they have so many layers to them dead dead for these so freaking dead these are so incredibly cute okay next lash all right, so moving on, the next ones we have here are in the Lash Buchona. These ones I feel like are a little bit less volume than the other ones, but they are still so incredible. So these ones are as well 3D mink. These ones are cute too, and like they're so fluffy, like you guys have no idea. So these ones are a little bit longer in the front as well. So they kind of are really cohesive, um, but I don't mind that. Like they're really nice and curly, which I like because my lashes are very straight and don't curl when I, even when I use like a curler, they just tend to fall. So these ones are really nice and curly. Like look at that. Like I'm losing the best of you. So these are in Buchona, again, 3D Mink. These are so cute, so curly. They really change my eye shape. I don't think I've ever owned lashes like these. Like, they're so nice. All right, so moving on to the next lashes. So these are in the style Alitas, which means wings in Spanish. Sorry for my ratchet nails. These are synthetic ones as well as the queen ones. Since they are synthetic, they're not as fluffy and 3D-like like the, obviously, the 3D link ones, or 3D mink ones. Alright, so these ones are in alitas, which are so cute as well. These are so pretty because they're so long, and they do have, like, a really nice curl to them, so you can obviously see them. I know there's so many lashes that just, like, stick out straight and are so annoying, but these ones are not like that. They're not super cheap looking, which I know a lot of synthetic ones tend to look like that. So these ones are really, really nice. By the way, 
Okay, something that I haven't really been mentioning is they're actually really comfortable on the eyes. You can't really feel them, which is something that's really important to me. I wear contacts, so lots of things tend to poke me in the eye, and sometimes my lashes kind of rip my contacts because they're scratching at my eye. So these ones are really comfortable. I can barely feel them on my eye, and that's really important for me, and any people with that wear contacts are really sensitive to that. These ones are really nice, and the bands are all the pretty much the same. They're not thinner or thicker than the first one was, um, but they're, like I said, you don't really feel it. Like, they're really comfortable, which is really awesome. So let's move on to the last pair of lashes. All right, these are the last pair of lashes before I lose my actual lashes. <laughs> okay, so these are in the style Gris, spelled K-H-R-I-I-Z. So these are actually the most subtle ones that she has. But they're still so beautiful and they are 3D mink, so they are that fluffy style, which I absolutely love. Ooh, and guys, okay, I'm gonna zoom this. I'm gonna like, I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know if you guys can see how fluffy, fluffy those are. Like, look at that. These ones to me look like the fluffiest, honestly. Oh my god. Okay, so I think these ones are actually going to be my favorite because I love how curly they are. Like, guys, they are so pretty and fluffy. Again, I'm going to say that multiple times. And they feel so lightweight on the eyes. They're so pretty. I look like a hot mess right now because I've been wearing my makeup for all day. But let me show you. obsessed with the lashes I'm obsessed with her cosmetic line I am living for her brand because she is such an amazing human being like if you guys meet her you'd fall in love with her immediately she's so sweet but yet her products are really good and I'm so proud of her that she did this and started this and I need some tips and tricks because I want to do the same thing. Since it is her launch for her brand, Jenny is doing a giveaway. So I'm going to explain to you guys the details and what to do if you want all five of these lashes. These are the rules. This is what you have to do. And she is picking a winner tomorrow. So this is a one day giveaway so make sure you guys are quick on your feet you guys are doing what what is told so you must be subscribed to her youtube channel so go to jenny enriquez which again the link is in the description box down below so go check that out go subscribe immediately give her video a like that she posted you must also comment your favorite lash style on her video the one that she posted also share her video so screenshot it and then post it on your instagram story and tag at swabacy.cosmetics in order to have her see it and enter you into the contest. So make sure you guys do that right away so you guys are entered and you guys have the chance of winning one of each of these pairs of lashes. Anyways, BBC Months, thank you so much for watching. Again, subscribe to my channel to become a BBC Month today. Like this video up. Go follow Jenny on all of her social media. Everything that I have in the link in the description box down below to support her again she is a very small brand she's just starting out so please go and check her out i'll see you guys next week for another video bye